Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our February 2016 Volvo V60 Cross Country Lux Nav Automatic. This is the 2.4 diesel engine, uh, 187 brake horsepower and uh, finished in a really lovely metallic grey. Now the whole car has been machine polished and it's come up really nicely. Uh, just two owners from new as well, uh, full service history. As I was saying, the car has been fully machine polished. It's come up really nicely. I'm just gonna bring you down on this side. If you look down the side of the panels, they are all nice and true, no ripples, no dents. A really stunning car for its age. The car's covered 71,000 miles with full service history. I'll show you that in just a second. We come round the front. We've got front and rear parking sensors. All of the headlight lenses are really nice and clear, no damage. Really nice and clean along the front there. All the grills are in really nice condition. There's very little chipping for a car of this age. It's not peppered at all. There's just a couple of very honest coming really close. I mean, that's the finish on the paintwork. As you can see, it's really good. We've got uh, headlight wash there. Now, if I come up onto the top of the bumper and the bonnet and just scan across the front here, again, no marks. Like I say, for a car of this age, it's in really nice condition. All of the windscreen. Okay, there we've got electric sunroof as well. And there's no damage to the paintwork, no bird dropping stain marks in the paintwork, no scratches. Black gloss mirror caps to match with the, match with the trim. Just come down on this side of the vehicle. And again, I'll zoom in a bit. Look how true those panels are. It's in really nice condition. Now, it wasn't long ago that the customer fitted a brand new set of Michelin cross country tires on the vehicle. Come back out, show you from this side. So the cross country sits a little bit higher. It's obviously four wheel drive. Should have mentioned that in the beginning, but hopefully you would have seen that in the advert. Now, if I just pan round here, I wanted to show you, this is the service history. Uh, there are about 18,000 mile intervals. This one was done in 16 at 18,000. Uh, in 17, 2017 at 30, 18 at 41, I think that is. 2019 at 52. And then in 2020, 45, 21 at 53,000, in 22 at 60,000. And then we've got another one that's just been done in January there at 68,000 miles. And that was a Volvo specialist the last couple. So coming back to the vehicle, let's bring you all the way around. Actually, let's uh, show you these wheels because, again, we've got these, what size are these? 18-inch alloys, diamond cut and like a, a, a grey, I think it's orbit grey. All of the trim down the side there in really nice condition. No marks on the door edges or around the handles. Show you this rear wheel. All the plastic trim around the wheel arches are really nice as well. Squeaky shoes today. And we've got the so come down low rear parking sensors. Twin exhaust down there. All the badges and the trim. 
look across the back. Bring you up onto the top here as well. So as I say, really nice condition. No scratches around the filler cap at all either. Let's just come out and then we'll go around and we'll have a look inside the car. So the Lux has got the full leather inside. Let's have a look. Give a quick brief scan around it first. Navigation, heated seats, of course, the winter pack, and the very comfortable Volvo seats that give you a lot of support. Full set of mats. Paddle shift on the steering wheel there. So on the door card, no damage at all on there really clean all the way down and then on the seal really nice condition there is a very very faint little scratch there that we've touched in it's next to nothing uh, we've got electric lumber on the seat there and you can adjust the angle of the seat really well on the these seats the tilt So all nice and tidy in there. Then the rear door card, no damage to report on here either. I always have a good look round the cars before we video them. So if there's anything to point out, I know where it is. And again, the seal very clean on this side. No damage to the seats. Center armrest. All the headlining's nice and clean. The rear of the seats. 12 volt socket in the back there as well. We'll open up the boot. Okay, so first of all, top of the bumper. No damage there. Now we've got an over mat in the back. And then we've got a blind and uh, there's a, a net that you can pull up underneath, which is split in two. I'll just show you that the blind, no damage on there. And then just under there, you can see there's a, a net that runs along there. Now underneath here, this is so that you can, if you've got boxes in the back, you can hang your carrier bags and stuff and bits and pieces in there that stays up and then you've got right underneath you've got some more storage there's a a pump kit in the bag there so really nice and clean in there just show you the sides as well and up above there's no damage and then Typically, Volvo have carpeted this area because that's the sensible thing to do. Because if it's plastic, it always gets scratched. So that's all good. We'll take a look in the rear. Again, the door card on this side, no damage, all in nice condition. And again, the seal. And the back of the driver's seat. Mats in the back. And again, the lever. And I'll just pull that center armrest down. You've got a bit of cubby hole in there. Drink hold is ideal for a family. And then into the front. Door card again. Surprisingly, no damage. 
what we're looking for is little dig marks where seat belts might have been trapped, etc. But it's been very well looked after. The Volvo SIP side impact protection system. It's all reinforced seals. So if you get hit from the side, it's a lot stronger. Stops the other vehicle coming into the vehicle. And then we've got memory seat on the driver's side, free memory positions, and all of the leather. A nice thick hide in the Volvos. Some of the manufacturers, to save money, use quite a thin hide or artificial leather or vinyl. Mentioning no names. All very tidy. I'll jump in in just a second. Just wanted to show all the steering wheels really nice. Okay, so we'll jump in. Put the key. Right, we'll pop the key in. Shut the door. Start her up. Okay, so there's a little button and a wheel. So there's a button on the end here and a scroll wheel there. Now, when you hit the button, go through the messages. Back, okay, there we go. Themes, so we can change the display here into economy, so it changes all the colors. Performance, all goes red, quite sporty. And then we've got contrast, oil level. Uh, service was done in January, still got 15,000 miles or seven months remaining. Trip gauge and, there for, and all the way around. And if we come out of there and press the button, Oh no, sorry. Back, back again. There we go, turning the dial, you can bring up the displays on the side there. And then the navigation screen for this age of vehicle has actually got a really clear screen sometimes they're quite pixelated and then we've got the heated seats like so which is just down at the bottom here so dual climate now because it's a four-wheel drive we've got hill descent stop start internet media connect your phone up for music, etc., through the Bluetooth, radio, DAB, all in there, back to navigation. Um, I think there's a car button. Oh, and then your fan system here, this is where you can press for direction, etc. Fan speed, aircon. Now, if we come down, we've got some cup holders another 12 volt a usb in there as well books locking wheel nut all in the glove box and then the sunroof all opens up dan's just going to pop the bonics it's on the other side of the car and then we've got the blind etc Paddle shift. Fat. I wonder if it will go into, let's put it into gear. I'm not too sure if it's going to. We can, well, let's get it into. It won't go any higher than third to pull away, so. But you can use the paddle shift, it's just, oh, that's nice and cold. It's a really warm day today. I think we're up for uh, 28 degrees today. Turn the engine back off. 
Otherwise you won't be able to hear me. So the engine bay. Really nice and tidy in here. All this has been cleaned very carefully using products like WD-40, which is a really good safe cleaning product. Any leaves hoovered out of the gullies. All up under the bonnet. It's never had any damage, so it's all in really nice condition. So nice and strong and reliable, typical Volvo. Close that down. So there we have it. Our Volvo V60 cross country. All ready to go. If you've got any questions, please give us a call. Uh, we've got uh, various extended warranties you can take out and uh, some finance options. Thanks for watching the video. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye now.